Wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery. And you and I, we got history. Yeah. Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy. When we're in too deep. And you and I, we got history. Yeah. Hey guys, today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial using the Colour Drain Queen of Hearts palette. This has just got a lot of foiled shadows and a lot of matte shadows and it's mostly warm tone. So this is the look that I came up with using this palette. So if you want to see how I got this look then just keep on watching. So I'm starting off with my Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation and I'm just going to put this all over my face with my Damp Beauty Blender. Now I'm going to conceal with my Maybelline Master Conceal in light and I'm just going to dot this all over my face and then blend it out with my Beauty Blender. I find this kind of hard to apply just because it's in a little squeezy tube and it doesn't have like a doe foot applicator or anything like that so that's why I'm just dotting it around. Now I'm going to set my concealer in place with my Australis Fresh and Flawless Powder. This is in Natural and I'm just taking that on that same damp beauty blender and packing that where I put that concealer just so it doesn't crease under my eyes and it stays all day. Now to contour, I'm using my Maybelline Master Sculpt in O2. I'm taking the contour shade and I'm taking that on an angled fluffy brush and putting that underneath my cheekbones and on the sides of my forehead. And then I'm taking a more dense, thinner brush and putting it underneath my jawline. Now I'm taking my model's preferred soft touch powder in Radiant Bronze and I'm going to bronze up my face with that. So I'm just taking it on a fluffy, large brush and putting that in the same general spots. For blush, I'm using the La Femme blush in Misty Plum and just packing this on the apples of my cheeks and blending it backwards and then blending that out with my Beauty Blender because I put it on a little bit too much. And then to brighten up and clean up all the powder, I'm going to use my Australis Banana Powder and just put that underneath my eyes and down the centre of my nose to brighten that up a bit. To highlight, I'm using my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop and putting that on the highest points of my face. And then I'm using my Sleek Highlighting Kit in Solstice. I'm taking that really light yellow gold shade and putting that on top of the same spots. I just wanted it to be a little bit more goldy. I'm doing my lip colour first just because I wanted to base the eyes around the lip colour and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. So I'm using the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Mama and putting that all over my lips. And for eyes, I'm using the Colour Drain Queen of Hearts palette, and I'm using this colour Air, and it's just like a nice, really light peachy colour. This is just going to be my transition colour. So I'm blending that all over my crease with a fluffy brush, and I'm going to take that underneath my eye as well, and this will just make the other colours really easy to blend out. Now I'm using Empress, and this is like a bright orange. I'm using that same brush, and just putting it more focused into the crease. So my camera cut out and I just put on a brown like cream eyeshadow on my lid and now I'm going in with Duchess which is the dark brown shade and putting it on the crease and in my underneath my eye. Now I'm going in with Your Majesty which is the really golden orangey shimmery shade and putting that right on top of that cream colour and I'm just going to blend that out. Now I'm going in with Dethrone which is a shimmery dark brown and I'm going to put that on my outer V. I'm going in with Makeup Geek Butter Bing. This is just a deeper brown colour, just to deepen that outer crease and slightly drag it into my crease. I'm also taking that underneath my eye to give it a little bit more dimension. 
Now I'm taking crown and this is like an iridescent white colour. I'm just going to highlight my inner corner with that and I just took it on my finger. Now I'm using the Colourpop Sh Super Shock Shadow in Glow and using that to highlight my brow bone. To line my waterline, I'm using a L'Oreal Super Liner in Seductive Black and just putting that right on my waterline and I'm going to smudge that downwards and make it really nice and dark. For lashes, I'm using the Eyelaw Dramatic 202 lashes and just putting them on my upper lash line as close to my lash line as I can and that's the finished look. guys enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe if you did and you can follow me on instagram which is just chelsea beauty with the underscore at the end and i'll see you in my next video bye